Hey everybody, Ken Surfs here and it's another travel shave. I'm back in Las Vegas one month later and now it's like 109 to 111 degrees. So I'm doing a travel shave. I flew here this time. I usually drive. I've only flown to Vegas twice. This is my second time. 38 minutes in the air. So it's not so bad, but I didn't check any bags. I just had carry-ons. So that means I was limited to what I could bring. So I had to bring, I know, a cartridge razor, but I bought, I brought Cremo Barber's Grade. I've got the Wee Scott brush and I forgot the soap. So I'm at Caesars. I had to uh, go with what they've got here, bar of soap, white vetiver. So I'm gonna be doing that today and my Polo blue that I was bringing was, uh, I think it was like over the uh, TSA requirement. So I had to put some in this little container here and I'll be using this today. So Polo blue, barber grade, white vetiver, and whoop, we Scott. And can you tell it is hot out there, man? It is hot. So, whoa, let's see if we can get through this shave, shall we? All right. I'm gonna wet my face a little bit. I don't know how much this, uh, I've actually took one of the soaps out and I have it in this soap dish here. So I'm gonna be using this. All right, let's get the Wee Scott wet a little. I've never been to Vegas so often. Uh, it's just my wife is gonna, my wife and daughter are gonna go see uh, Morrissey today. And I know, you're gonna say, what? You don't know Morrissey songs or the Smith songs? But uh, no, I don't, so I'm not going. I'm gonna be trying my hand at roulette. But, by the way, it's lathering pretty good. But I'm sure they're gonna have a lot of fun. Me and uh, my daughter's boyfriend are gonna uh, go look at the forum shops. He wants to get some cool Nike uh, Air Force One shoes, and they've got a big Nike store and museum here. I'm gonna show them where that is. In fact, I'll show you some scenes in a few minutes of uh, what it's like here, in case you've never been. That's one thing you guys said you like about the travel videos, if I can show footage of what it's like, because some of you have not been here yet, and you might come in the future, but you just wanna know what it looks like. There we go. I had the brush too wet. The lather wasn't, I can't believe I forgot to bring some shave soap. Neutral scent, I can't smell anything. Yeah, it's facial soap, but it's definitely in a pinch. So in a pinch, you use what you can, right guys? You use what you can but I'm in definite need of a shave. All right, here we go. There, I think we've got about five blades there. I've done a video on this about three or four months ago, so if you guys wanna see my uh, review on that, go ahead. 111 degrees. The only saving grace is the swimming pool. And I was there this morning and it was under a hundred and I was there for a couple of hours and it was nice. I was there with my wife and now my wife and my daughter and her boyfriend, they're down there right now having cocktails and it is just too dang hot. Yeah, look, this soap is dissolving. I'm glad this barber grade razor doesn't mind. Here's what that swimming pool looked like. this afternoon guys crowded this afternoon but I don't blame them and that big pool that you saw has a lot of shade because that center fountain uh, covers the sun on you know it, the, the shade travels around the pool so I was in there for a couple of hours but 
uh, it wasn't so bad. But now the air is so hot. Man, I was almost coughing. And this is my first time ever staying at Caesar's Palace. Never. I've been coming here with my folks and probably at least once a year since 1974, 75. Never have we. I've visited Caesar's Palace and I went to their casino, but I've never stayed here. So it's kind of nice. All right. And they have a mall and uh, a lot of restaurants. In fact, uh, we were at the Palm last night, but uh, here's some of the restaurants. I think every famous chef, you know, Gordon Ramsay, Bobby Flay, Giada, they all have restaurants here. So they've always got good food, but in the old days, man, uh, the food, the drinks, everything used to be reasonable because they wanted you to gamble, but now Sin City is a destination. So good luck finding cheap. Booze and food. There's even 10 bucks for a slice of pizza. Hear the feedback? Yeah. But it is nice to get away. You know, two years stuck in the house. Oh, and my son got over his COVID. My daughter got over the COVID. Me and the wife not, or dodged the COVID, thank goodness. I hope you guys are staying safe because that that doggone COVID is uh, everywhere now again. But uh, my daughter and son had mild cases, so luckily they were over in about four days. All right. And this razor has like Excellent coverage. And I think this is like a lubricant strip. That's what you were seeing. It was really lubing. <laughs> this is definitely a nice room though. Take a look at what's outside my window. A hell of a show at night. All right. Whew. They have all kinds of high end stores here, too, you know, uh, in their in the Caesars Mall. And uh, they had Creed. My wife goes, you want to go in and look? I go, no, man. I spent too much for that bottle of Aventus all those years ago. I go, that's my Creed. It's going to last me a long time. All right. Had to bum one of these off my wife, these little, uh, little dispensers here. But uh, hey, it works. Let's see the burn. Polo blue. I'm appropriately wearing a blue shirt to go with it. Wow. Well, that was a quick one, gents. I'm sorry I've been off the uh, grid for about a week since the fourth COVID, you know, in the house. Um, you know, it's still worrying. My son, you know, he's not the uh, healthiest of guys. And uh, I was really worried that it was going to hit him hard, but it hit him the lightest. It hit my daughter much harder than it hit him. And uh, he recovered. So that's good news. So there we are, a shave from Las Vegas. And man, the, uh, 
The bathroom is huge, huge, huge. As explains the echo. <laughs> All right, guys. I look forward to being back in the shave den and doing a good shave with you again very, very soon. Until next time, as Ken Surf saying, stay safe, please stay safe. That COVID is back with a vengeance and uh, we'll see you next time.